Hi there, Mark here. Welcome to another Zebra tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to create another Psytrance lead type sound. Extremely simple. Loads of people love these sounds but can never seem to make them. It's just going to basically consist of an oscillator and a filter. <coughs> Excuse me. And there'll be uh, quite a few effects. But, nice and simple and... Well, it's a classic Psytrance sound. Now, just before we go any further, please make sure you sign up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the address right there. Just so you don't miss any future tutorials. And as if you know, I've been following my videos, I normally do about one a day. Okay. We're going to start with an oscillator, we're going to put it into dual and we'll first thing we'll do is, well it's already set to that on this for me which is good we're going to use the fin saw pulse and we're going to use pulse number 8 lovely sound, lovely lovely now what we're going to do is, we're going to detune it a bit not by much we can mess around with that later, but we'll drop the tuning by an octave, so down by 12. You could also use that if you wanted to, but we'll leave it off for the moment. That just flips the the wave upside down and replaces it. Well, it doesn't replace it, it just adds it. I'm just going to use a filter, a VCF, but we're going to change it to one of the res bands. Bring the cut off down a bit, bring the resonance up a little bit. Now for the modulation, we're going to modulate the cutoff with a global LFO. We're going to change it to triangle, and we'll change that to 3 to 1. So we're getting that, that ramp up and down the cutoff. And we could increase the rate a little bit. Okay, so we're also going to go into the matrix and use LFO G1. Oh, sorry, the filter cut off. And we'll modulate that with LFO G1 as well, just for extra. But we can mess around with these in a second. Now the easiest way to do this, or is to get the sound right, and it's very well, it's all very well and good having the sound like this. But write a pattern that's close to the sound, the, the kind of pattern that you're going to want the sound to be playing. So, so I've got a nice sound there, and because of that, I can now mess around with this to make it more in tune with that pattern. Now it's obviously ramping down a bit deep with the sounds of things. Too much for my purposes, so we need to mess around. So as you can see, playing with the combination of the two LFOs and the amplitude, the amp amount of the global LFO, which basically means how much the LFO affects, how much has been sent, and how deep it goes really. So if I turn that right up, it really ramps the, 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 the cut off, which is too much for me.
and that sounds really good as it is but now I'm going to add some effects and generally I will add mod effects I will add a delay I will add a EQ and a compressor and maybe even a reverb but we'll turn the reverb off we'll turn them all off actually and just work on one at a time so the modulate uh, the mod effects phaser nice as well so just mess around and see what you like just leave that off and as you know by now I like my dotted delays And of course there's other delays that you can use multi-tap stuff. Just getting a little bit too complicated for this sound, so... Okay, then EQ it, and I'll normally EQ some of the the bass out, put the highs up a little bit and find some nice peaks in here. And compress it. Add some reverb if you want. I'll put the reverb on ascend. So you just do whatever um, effects you like. But there you go, that's a lovely Psytrance sound. Just mess around with the effects. What else could we add just for fun? An XMF. <laughs> getting crazy okay so just mess around with it um that's one side trance type of lead i hope you enjoyed that hope it helps you and remember do it to your pattern makes it easier thanks for watching remember do it to your pattern it makes it easier okay um don't forget to sign up to www.zebratutorials.com for even more tutorials on a weekly basis, actually, you'll get one every Monday sent to your email that aren't public. So, I uh, hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.